Common in science. <coughs> Chapter 4. Common in sects. So what is an insect? Insects are nothing but a small, they are small creatures or small animals you can say with uh, six legs with two or four wings. Some of them have two wings, some of them have four wings. And commonly, uh, some common or known insects are grasshoppers, house fly, honeybee, uh, butterfly, beetles, lizards, mosquitoes, ants, and so on. There are many, you can, uh, you can say. But what is the important part of this common sense? Uh, let us try to study on that. Uh, some insects comes out at night, some comes out during daytime and some they love to live with their uh, group and some uh, totally uh, single. So uh, with this field, let us try to know first its features. Like uh, most of the insects, they have three parts. Most of the insects have three parts, namely head, thorax, and abdomen. On the head, it comprises of Butterfly forms. 
So we can say we can we can just uh, study on this uh, the life cycle of butterfly. It has four cycles. We will study one by one. Let me just uh, do it like this. The first part, let us say. Butterfly, uh, before they form into an adult butterfly, they first lay their eggs under or on the surface of a leaf or under a leaf. So they form a small, small eggs in a leaf. And after a few days, these eggs. Converts into a lava. Lava is nothing but a small like caterpillar. Okay? A small like caterpillar. It looks like it is a caterpillar which looks like a worm. So this is the second stage. The first stage was a man. It lay on a leaf or under a leaf. And after a few days, this axe crack and hatch into a lava, or in other words, you can call it caterpillar. Or which look like a worm. I hope we all have seen worm. Yes. So, after this, uh, after a few days, this caterpillar turns into pupa. Pupa. So, now what happened in between? Before it forms uh, pupa, the skin of the caterpillar you know it set its skin and it started forming a sil silky uh, skin or silky wings or silky cover on top of the pupa or caterpillar the first part of its layer, it set and then started forming with a silky color. So, after this, after a few days, and yes, I forgot to say one point, during lava, during the time of caterpillar or lava period, uh, the lava depends on leaves for its foods. It consumed leaves, it takes the green leaves and started uh, taking the leaves to form its energy or to form its food. So when it converts into pupa, it forms a silky cover. And this silky cover slowly slowly it develops. And when it turns into maturity after a few days, it forms an adult butterfly. It forms to an adult butterfly. This is the fourth stage. This is the third stage. So this is how the life cycle of butterfly is being recorded or is being seen in a practical life. So this is a simple study. Just you need to know first it lay an egg. After laying an egg, it hatches and turns into caterpillar or larva. 
and this lava feeds on leaves and these leaves uh, and this particular again it set it set it uh, cover or skin and turns into pupa that particular skin setting of skin is called cocoon cocoon or cocoon and after few days of this uh, silky cover when it turns into maturity it turns into what? adult butterfly so after uh, become, after becoming an adult butterfly it gets to move out from this place now this is one simple life cycle of a butterfly now let us come back to another objective of this common insects social insects what is social insects? yes very interesting what is social insects? social insects are nothing but an insect or the insects where it moves or gather or stay together with colonies or group so this type of insects are called social insects I can give you an example of it like ants ants can be of different sizes small, medium, large termites which usually uh, see as white ants yeah, these are called termites then webs honeybee or honeybees etc there are many more but I have just cited a few cited a uh, few examples so now you see these social insects they always move with groups for instance I would like to say if you drop sweets or sugar in, on the floor in your kitchen what do you find after some time? numbers of ants will come and flock to the spot where you have drawn so you can uh, imagine how rapid they sense and they get it so this type of insects when you see in a particular time or in a particular area we call it as social insects and they are very sensitive um, they trail after they consume some of the sweets so that the other friends or other colonies of uh, the group can come and join them that is, that, that, this is how these uh, particular insects are living with their groups or moving with their groups right now there are some uh, harmful insects there are some harmful insects where we have to be really aware of it to cite a few examples the harmful insects I would like to mention Eat up or they come in uh, 
climb on top of your food. Where if uh, broad jumps or dirty uh, things, where it carries, sorry, where it carries with it, and it may be harmful for you when you eat that food. On the other hand, termites. Termites, they are very good in eating woods. You know woods? They love to eat woods. So it may be your furniture, like chair, table, or maybe your sofa. They can come and buy it. So they are harmful insects. And silver fish, you usually found, or we usually found, it, uh, when we keep our clothes in a cupboard or somewhere in a wardrobe, uh, they love to eat our clothes. They try to damage it. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes carry a very dangerous disease, which, very, which we call malaria. So, we have to be very careful from mosquitoes bite. If you get bite, if you get bite with mosquito, you see there is a chance of getting malaria. Malaria is a very dangerous disease or sickness that you have to be away from mosquito. That you have to be always away from mosquitoes. Next, bed bugs. These are specially found under your sofa or bed, and you see these bed bugs. Uh, they disturb you when you take rest. Or when you try to nap or when you try to sleep. So these are also very harmful insects. Cockroaches. Cockroaches are also called to be nocturnal insects. Why they are called nocturnal insects? Because day comes out most of the time during the night. And when you don't cover your food or maybe you put vegetables on the table or in open cells, then they always come and attack and eat or play around. So it can be very harmful because they carry germs. Guys, most of the head lice are found on our head. Sometimes it each because of head lice. They suck our blood or our skin and the lice always take an advantage to suck the blood from it. Alright, now these are the few harmful insects. There are many more. But for today, after this uh, examples, let us mention it. And the last point I would like to discuss, just a few more minutes, how to prevent or remedies. Remedies to prevent. Okay, this is very important. As you all know, insects are very harmful. So, what are the few remedies? I will just cite a few remedies. Number one, you should always put what? Net on your doors or windows. You see, once you put a net on your windows or doors, then there will be a less chance for the house flies, mosquitoes, or other insects to pass in through your room. The second one, uh, always keep your uh, keep your surrounding clean. See, you see, uh, if you keep your surrounding clean, then less insects will come. Less insects will be available and less insects will come and attack your home. So keep your surrounding clean. If you see any garbage or if there are any rubbish, then you always try to put inside them. Does be which has covered. Okay, fine. And the third point: always cover the food. Your food item, food should or you should always cover your food. You should always cover 
Students, have a good day.